lived for a very short period of my life in Jakarta, Indonesia. And during that time, I lived among the people. And I found that a lot of people would get sick and some would even pass away from very serious illnesses that were preventable. I found that I had a passion for helping people to prevent those diseases by just doing the simple things that they could do, like washing their hands or wearing mosquito spray. So I became a health educator back in 2012, and I worked as a health educator for about seven years. I worked uh, in the Mojave County Health Department in Arizona, and then I transitioned up here to the Utah County Health Department, and I worked in their tobacco education and cessation program for a long time, and I also ran their teen pregnancy prevention program for a long time, which is how I actually got to know Centro Hispano. When the position of executive director opened up, I decided to apply thinking I would probably never get it. They decided to have faith in me and they chose me. And so that's kind of how I ended up here. I think something that makes Jackie stand out above everyone else is her heart. She cares not only about the community, but her team. She cares about who they are as human beings. She's a great leader in that way. She listens to you. She lets you know that she's gonna have your back at all times, but she also wants you to be independent. And that's something that I really love about Jackie. One of my best friends always likes to say that you should follow what makes your heart sing. And for me, what makes my heart sing is helping people. And not just helping a few people, but helping people actually on a large scale. And Centro Hispano has helped meet that need for me. She loves her community. Not only her Utah County community, but her Latinx community. She is one of those people that will look for other opportunities to better serve. She's not okay with providing the bare minimum. She wants to provide what's actually needed in the community. So she will reach out and look for grants or programming that will truly impact our community to empower them, to move them forward. That's truly what her mission, her personal mission is uh, when she came here to Centro Hispano is be that impact and empower others. I would say my greatest achievement since becoming CEO at Centro Hispano has been starting the Immigration Legal Clinic. It's the first one here in Utah County and the only one of its kind in our area. People can come to our office and, and obtain services that it costs a lot of money to go to a lawyer to obtain. It's just really great for the community. My greatest reward in the work that I do is knowing that we have made a difference in someone's life, even if it's very small, for the better. I would like to thank a lot of people for helping me become the person I am today. The first would be my family. The next would be my husband, who's my partner in crime and also has helped me start a lot of these new programs and initiatives at Centro Hispano. And I would also like to thank my friends who've been my sounding boards and um, the board of directors of Centro Hispano for having faith in me and believing in me and also guiding me through this process.